blessed. Let me go ahead and run the colors down below and explain what I got going on here. Got a nice large canvas today. It is a 24 by 30 inch canvas, white canvas. So I went ahead and applied white medium. I will have a description of the paints and paint brands in the description down below. And of course, I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to, to view the channel. So let's go ahead and pull out good old number two, number two brush here, and we'll go right into our blue. I'm gonna pull some out. Instead of tapping, tapping in the blue, I'm just gonna just pull some out, just like that. Small, small amount. Remember, with the technique, it's a small, small amount. Everything's in in those brushes and in those bristles. You just gotta just gotta believe in yourself. Get the equipment, load it up, learn how to do the brush strokes and everything, and just get past that awkward stage, and things will be great. So let's go ahead and rock and roll, and we'll. Start right here, and I think today I'm just gonna just pull it like so, kind of like so. Remember, a little, little bit at a time. Okay, a little bit at a time. And I'll just do something, something like so. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. I just want some, some movement this way, a little bit different today. And we'll just load up a little bit more. Right, right on there. Get a little bit more. Get it a little bit darker. There we go. Yeah, maybe just like that. Just like that. And because I don't have a lot a lot of paint on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and just pretty much just blend it out. And I'm just going to go in the same motion. Same motion. And because I have that white medium, it just blends it for you. Just blends it for you. There we go. six fan brush. I'm going to go right into my white here. And I think we'll just put a nice little cloud in. Nothing, nothing major. Just a nice, nice little cloud, okay? And I'm going to come in and I'll just right here, right here. And I'm just going to just push it in. I'll use the side just like that. Just push it, push it into it. Kind of fluff that out, mist it up a little bit, just like that. Maybe, maybe just a uh, one more. Maybe just one more. Go ahead and put it. Just like that. Load up. Just like that. Then I just want a little bit more right there. Painting clouds can be quite addictive, so just have fun, you know? Just put it wherever you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just grab this two inch brush right here. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of, just a little bit of blending underneath. Just a little bit of blending. Here we go. Just a little bit. Just underneath the cloud. There we go. Just like that. And I, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to even fluff it up. I'm just going to leave it. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and make some, make some beautiful mountains. It looks Looks to me like we should have some mountains. So let's go ahead and grab a, 
nice big old pile of the blue and I'll just put it right here and we'll grab a little bit of our of our black pretty much same proportion and the same thing here with our our pink stuff that crimson as I always get corrected with okay we got ourselves a nice color like so and I'm gonna come over here just gonna give that a quick wipe in there we go and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white I'm gonna come right here and just just mellow out the color just mellow out the color add a little bit more so it's just not so so dark there we go something like so and grab yourself a nice roll and let's go ahead and just make ourselves a just a nice decent decent mountain just like so just come in and Scrape it off that excess. There you go. Maybe a little bit more right here. There you go. Again, just come in and scrape out the guts, I guess you could say. Scrape out the mess. I'm going to go right into the white here. I added just a touch. Just a touch of this color here. I just want to dim it down a little bit, just like that. Have it nice and nice and marble, just like that. Okay, and we'll come in and grab ourselves a nice roll. Let me clean this real quick. Let me show you. Get yourself a nice, nice roll like so. Okay, and come in and you find your spot. And you're going to come in and just like so. Same thing here, same thing here. Just like so. Come in and grab your little roll. Come up here. And same thing. And same thing. Here we go. Don't want too, too much detail because I want this to be pretty much in the back. But we want to know that there, there's something here. And maybe a little something over here. Just a little bit more white there. There we go. Something like so. And then maybe something like so. There we go. Come in. Take this white. Touch of this blue. Grab a little bit more of that white, a little bit more of this blue here. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to add just, just a touch to dim it down slightly, just to get a nice little blue color in there. And we'll go ahead and just do some, some shadows on the other side here. that just a little bit of that blue in there and we'll come back with the white and let's go ahead and do something like so and right here there we go all right let me go ahead and clean this and use a, I'll just use a nice little two inch brush. I'm just gonna come in and start, just start tapping right here at the bottom, right here at the bottom, okay?
go ahead and blend it, make it nice and soft. What I'm doing is going like that, just barely touching and grabbing. And there you go, just lifting it up. All right, we went ahead and put in a nice little little mountain right here. You know what would be nice right here? A little bit of water. Let's go ahead and use our two inch brush. Probably could have, should have did this when we did the sky, but when you compose, when you compose as you go, you, you kind of just go along with it. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get some of this blue right here, both sides. And down here, we'll just go up to about here, okay? We'll start here. There we go. And right here. And we'll go ahead and go up. And we're a little, a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And we'll go ahead and get this side as well. There we go. And then nice and lightly go across. There we go. There we go. I, will, I like it a little bit at a time. It's the way I like the paint. This way you don't overdo it because you, you need to make sure that you have a thin amount of paint here because we're going to add some, some thick paint. So if you don't do it correctly, it, your, your paint just won't, it won't stick, okay? And uh, I definitely want you to have some, some success here. So and I'm just bringing it up to the mountain and just let it nicely fade. Let's go ahead and use our palette knife. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use use the same color. I'm just gonna get rid of this gray. It's a nice little gray color here that I have here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so we have this nice color, which was blue, black, and some of the pink stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, just leave that there for now. I just wanna kinda clean it up a little bit. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab a little bit more of this black. We're gonna grab more of that crimson. And this time we'll grow, go ahead and grab a little bit of the sap green, why not? Just throw it in there. Make sure you mix these colors up thoroughly, pretty much all equal proportion. Now let's go ahead and grab ourselves a nice little chunk here and yeah, let's start right here. Just come in. And we'll just fill this fill this up. Come in like so. Something like that. There we go. Something like so. Let's go ahead and get this filled in. And just to speed this up so we're not here all day, I'll go ahead and just grab a, a one inch brush. Grab some here. And I'll just go ahead and 
go ahead and take some of this in. What I'm doing right now is just blocking in. Grab some more. Let's go ahead and block, block in a little spot over here as well. Maybe we'll do something like so. Maybe something like so. I'm going to give that a little bit more of a ledge. There we go. Did I ever tell you about my good friend? Probably my best friend in the whole world. My, my best friend in the whole world, probably lady, my little doggy, did I ever tell you about her? This wonderful, wonderful baby, man. I, I absolutely love this dog. Best, bestest friend in the whole world. So she, uh, 16 and a half. So back in 2005, when Katrina was hitting South Florida, the Florida Keys, I went and picked her out of, out of the litter. And let me go ahead and grab that fan brush. We're gonna go ahead and maybe make some trees real quick. Right over here, some pine trees. We're using that same, same dark color. Now I should probably put this one inch brush down before I brush it along there. But And when we picked her out, when I picked her out of the litter, she came over and touched, like just laid right on my foot. And I picked her up, and she she just went right to sleep, right in my arms. I'm like, okay, this is this is definitely uh, definitely the dog, you know. She was just the the bestest bestest friend I've had, and unfortunately, she won't be with us any longer. I had to put her down uh, just a little over a week ago. So this painting is going to be for for my good old my good old best friend. And pal, lady fingers, do miss you. Been a lonely, lonely Christmas without her. This is the first time in 16 years. So, but not to be a Debbie Downer, let's go ahead and make some wonderful, wonderful trees. So I'll go ahead and put that in. And I'm going to come in and just, just touch with the side, okay? And I'm just pushing in. And putting putting those arms out. Okay. We'll go ahead and have something like so. And I think we should have some. Maybe some just something looking dead like so. Let's go ahead and Put some stuff in the background. And all I'm doing is just going like that. Just putting some stuff in. Go ahead and keep loading it up. Keep loading it up. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's put it something like so. And maybe this will be one of those trees that just has those arms that just kind of Kind of stick out and are open like so. Let's go ahead and just do that. There we go. And we don't want to make them too bald, so let's go ahead and just put a nice little spot right there. Okay. Come back here again. And let's have another one. Just like so. Just like this guy. I'm 
start this way. It's a little bit easier, I think, with this when they're open. Kind of go up that way. You have a little bit, a little bit more control. Let's go ahead and get some dark. There we go. There we go. And a couple. Something like so. Maybe we'll have a nice one right here. And come in, same thing, just with the side. I'm just pushing it. And then just try to get those arms to start working out like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, right here is not perfect. It's okay. It's nature. Okay? No worries. It doesn't have to be perfect. Go ahead and put one. Let's go ahead and put one right here. Let's have one of those open ones again. Have it come up like so. We'll just tap it a little bit more. There we go. Something like so. And let's go ahead and grab our palette knife and let's grab some of this brown right here put it there and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white we'll get ourselves a nice little color here and I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this white yeah I'll put it right here I'm gonna grab some of the sienna And there we go. Get a nice color here. Nice color. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit. And I'm just gonna put in a nice little little trunk. Just like so. And same thing here. Told you don't have to be perfect. We're gonna highlight. Even one right here. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little messed up there, but no, oh, no worries. Bring it down. There we go. See, you don't you don't mess up. Okay. Just have a little confidence, confidence in yourself, and you can fix it. I'm telling you, it's easy breezy. No worries. No worries. Okay. And then I'm going to take this, kind of mix it up a little bit, grab some of that white. All right, and then I'm going to come in and start putting in some ground. And then we'll go back and highlight, it's fine. Just something, so I'm coming over. Leave, if you can, leave these darks because we're going to need that for, for some other highlights. And it's also going to provide you some nice shadows, which you, which you kind of need. So come over here like so. Grab a little bit of this dark. And I'm going to grab a little bit of this blue. Put some of that in there. Just getting different different colors. Different colors. And go ahead and grab some more of this white here. Put it there, a little bit more of this brown. There we go. And we'll come in. Start. Start coming in like so. We'll have it come in like this. Just 
Let's have fun. Let's have fun. There we go. Do a little bit, a little bit of this dark color right here. Put it right here. here there you go just so we have some contrast there difference so it's not so flat looking like it is right over here so we'll come in get some get some nice color going come in Got a little bit more of that white So, a little bit of that dark color. There you go. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this side going. Clean the knife here. And let's go ahead and use that same, same fan brush, go into our dark pile again. And let's go ahead and do up some fan, or uh, some fan, fans, do up some pine trees. There we go. Same thing. On the side, you're going to push. Just keep pushing. And working your way down. There we go. Big old guy right there. And same thing. Just gonna work my arms out. Pretty much try to stay right here in the middle and then just pop those arms out. So, go ahead, put those little trees in, put the background, put a couple more right here. trees is open there we go something like so okay maybe one little thing over here Something like so. Kind of like that. It's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and use that palette knife again. Let's go ahead and uh, once again, we got to just make some tree trunk color there. So I got this nice little pile here. I'm just going to add a little. Actually, I have that sienna right here. So I'm going to add some of that to this. And grab myself a nice little chunk of it. And we'll come in and. Up our highlights like so. Grab a little bit more. And this is why you need this paint down here, little as little as possible, because you're adding all this thick paint. So if you have too much, it's just you're going to have issues with the paint sticking. There we go. 
something like so. Might even come over here and try to fix this guy. And fix this one. There. Same thing, use that same palette knife. Let's go ahead and make some, some rock color here. So we'll go ahead and grab some of that brown again. Keep it right here in this pile. And some of that white. Just like so, nice and marbled. We'll come in and start start making ourselves a nice little ledge here. Just like so. Nice little ledge. And just come in. And we'll do something like so. Maybe even right here. There we go. Something like that. We'll get some nice color over here. And clean that real quick. Grab a little bit of this dark color. And come in and Come in and put those shadows in with the dark color. And I'm, right now I'm following the angle. So the angle is going like this and like that. So you got to just follow the angle. Just follow the angle. Maybe something right here. Think about maybe putting something right here, right here. Let's try to get something here. A little highlight. Back into the dark here. Just like that. Just a little something here. Just a little something. It gets addictive. It gets addictive. I gotta, I gotta relax or I'm gonna go overboard. It happens to us all. Okay, so we got all that nice stuff in here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna put something right here. It just feels a little, a little bare. Uh, I mean, let's go ahead and highlight and see, see what we come up with. So. I'm going to go ahead, I got my yellow right here, like so. I'm going to add a touch of my medium, my white medium into this, and a touch of my green. And just a touch of that black. There we go, nice olive type of color here. All right, and it's a little too thick still. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that medium. And let's go ahead and do some quick, some quick little highlights. So we'll start right here, and just touch, touch, and bring it on down. Same thing here. Touch. And you just bring it on down. A little bit more of that medium. And that'd be the same here. Touch. There we go. that. Touch, touch. Give it a little bit more of that medium. A little bit more of that green there. And 
same thing. Touch. Just like that. Let's come over and get these guys here. Just like that. Grab more. More of that medium there. There we go. Hopefully you can see this. There we go. And same thing. There you go. And let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot the little guy here. And same thing. Touch. I'm going to go ahead and crunch. Just want some some color back here. There we go. Just pull some out and then crunch it in. You'll, you should get some texture so you know you're getting in the right things, okay? And just open that brush up and you just come in, pop, and then pop, pop. All right. And I want to get the same thing over here. Same thing. Crunch it open. And just come in and pop. And I'm going to keep it dark back here. I'm going to keep it dark over here for shadow, but I want some, some foliage over here. So I'm going to pull some out again. Grab a little bit more of this medium. And I want a, a little bit of foliage, so I'm going to just tap in a little bit. Just a little bit. And same thing here, just tap it in. And like so. And maybe... Something like that. Come and get. Let me go ahead and just wipe this brush down a little bit. Get a clean paper towel here. There we go. Wipe it. That was a little dirty. I'm gonna go right into here and some more of that white medium. And let's pop something right here. Okay. Maybe. Something like so. And maybe we'll have it coming up a little bit over. Wherever you think that there's some, some greenery, go ahead and put it in there. No worries. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this yellow ochre right now. Add it to some of this white medium sliding. I'm going to come in and just add a little bit of yellow ochre. There we go. Some nice different tones in here. And we'll have some something like so. There we go. I think that's cool. Let's go ahead and get some more over here. A little bit of yellow ochre into the into the cad with some of that green. And maybe right here. Grab a little bit more of that medium. We'll have it 
come out so like so and maybe right here and here right here go ahead and get a little bit more of that medium add some some of the white there you go I'm gonna go ahead and just tap down boom 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 like this and then just Trying to get some textures going. Let me clean this again. And we're we'll going to some white. Get some straight white. Got a little bit of that yellow on here, but some straight white. Just tap it, open it up. spots here there the white there we go just brings it out a little bit just brings it out just the tad a little bit more of this white here and same thing here There you go. Got a little bit here. As you can see, it's just here, there, not not too too much. You don't want to overdo it, but enough to kind of push the stuff here back. And that's that's what we're trying to do right now. Just trying to. There we go. Nice little stuff right here tap 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 real soft tap 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 you get these beautiful things and they're not really doing much not really doing too much and then something like so maybe right here maybe right here you can do something like so right here all right I'm gonna add a touch of this yellow and maybe right right here I'm sorry it's like a quite addictive for me There you go. All right, let's go ahead and complete this beautiful painting. Let's go ahead and use that liner brush. I'm gonna just dip it right into my paint dinner. And I think the first color I'm gonna go into is probably just gonna be this brown for right now. Just twist it, twist it, get it nice and thin. If it's not too, if it's not too thin, it ain't gonna slide, okay? But if it's too, too thin, you're going to drip. So you need to just be careful, nice and thin. And bring it to a point, okay? And then I'm just going to come in. I'm going to add a couple little, little branches to this guy here. Something like so. Go. 
this a another one over this way. There we go. Alright, let me clean that. I'm gonna go into my black here. Get some nice really really dark colors here. Go into the there. There we go. Just like that. Same thing, spin it. And we'll just come in and start. Put some, some nice little branches in the background. Nice little branches. Maybe something over this way. Like so. Put something over here. There we go. There we go. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. Not, not too over detailed. Remember, this is far, far away. We're just getting some nice, nice lines here. Just to know we have all different types of foliage, you know. There we go. All right, and clean this. Go ahead and just grab a little bit of this medium. I just want a couple of lighter ones. There we go. get different different color variations like so there we go something out like so get yourself a nice little there we go okay and with that I think that will complete today let's go ahead and get this bad boy signed grab some of that white medium we're just to have nice, some nice thin paint. It should slide right on over, over what's here. Just gotta make sure the paint is thinned out. That is the secret. Remember, just do your best. The only person that's going to beat you up is yourself. So, you know, just do your best and be proud of it. And every painting will get a little bit better, a little bit easier, and you feel a little bit more confident. And that's, that's what painting is all about. Well, that completes an absolutely beautiful, stunning painting. I hope you enjoyed today's show and, and today's project. And I I want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to view. I hope you were able to see this all the way through. If you'd like to support the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I want to wish you the best. Please take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye.